Now, I'm sitting here with Exilion, and my thing was back then, um, I was trying to get back into a hobby, which was, you know, something to paint or whatever, and I started searching online about hobbies and stuff, because I, I was getting kind of burnt out on World War II painting figures, and uh, I started searching stuff, and all of a sudden this, this show popped up uh, on YouTube called uh, Talking About Tyranids. And I clicked on it, and that uh, propelled me into wanting to paint Tyranids because I just loved the reviews. I loved watching this guy, and uh, just the way he he presented the, the Tyranids. He didn't never never really showed his you know his face ever. Um, all I heard was his voice and how you play uh, Tyranids. And my first video I ever watched was uh, the Warrior, um, how to play a warrior. Uh, so. Me, you know, actually getting into the hobby because of you and how, how you presented your videos, um, I was wondering, how did you transition, you know, from me watching you to you watching me and you subscribing to me? Because you don't subscribe to just everybody, you know. Actually, it, it was a kind of funny story. Well, well, I started the videos seriously as like a, I took pictures of my friends like World Eaters Army and like I took pictures of some terrain before I even like played Tyranids and it was just like random videos that I had up on YouTube and I had like 100 to 200 subscribers randomly and like I never really even like did things with subscribers I had like maybe 8, 9 videos it was pretty random and uh I did the talking about Tyranid things uh I, I was pretty much like like a I don't know a power gamer and like I, I, when I started the hobby, I started playing like Ultramarines. It was kind of was kind of stupid. I don't know. I didn't really know what I was doing. I painted it up. I more really enjoyed just like eh, playing, and I was like, oh, these characters are really powerful with Darren and Zilla. So. Most of the videos, actually, from, like, the 4th edition talking about Tyranids was me on, like, a tournament high or whatever, and, uh, they were all very clean cut to the point, and, uh, they, they, they're kind of funny looking back on them. I still get a bunch of them saved. Um, but in terms of me watching your videos, uh, the Chef 40K, uh, he, he gave a shout-out, and I was talking to Chef, I think, in Skype or, uh, he, he randomly was like, oh yeah, you're lost, check this out. And he like gave me a random link to your page, and I was like, subscribe. And like, I didn't look at the page at all. I just like, subscribe. <laughs> oh, <thanks. laughs> and like, the thing is though, you kept putting up videos, and it would be like, no one puts up videos like, more than like, maybe once a week. Or like, maybe there's a few people that put up like, oh, two, three videos a week. Like, uh, you just had like, you had a splurge of videos at one point, and I was sitting there just like, oh, this is boring, like on YouTube, I was clicking around, I was like, you yeah, know, like, terrain guy, he's pretty cool, he makes yeah. terrain. The big thing, though, is like, uh, I was just looking at random tutorials and whatnot, I was like, oh, cool, this guy, yeah, I'm subscribed to him, let's see. And I think I watched like, ten back-to-back -back of your videos as you were painting them or whatever else, and I was like, wow, it's like I'm watching some mesmerizing, watching uh, you paint, and like, randomly talk about your stuff, so it was actually, uh, it was like, there's, there's a lot of painting videos on YouTube that are like, they put in music and they paint, and like, it's, it's sped up, those are good, but I, I already know how to paint, but it was like, it was weird, it was like peaceful watching you paint, so I was sitting there like, oh cool, this guy's painting, <laughs> it's peaceful, and I was sitting there, how I used to have my painting set up was, I used to have it right in front of my computer, so I'd watch like, movies, like, I've watched Gladiator, I think, 20 or more times. I can, I don't even have to watch it now. I can just, like, listen to the sound of the movie and I know what's going on. It's, it's pretty bad. But, um, no, it's just the, those videos I used to watch. I used to watch a lot of, uh, the Shiznaft guy with his, uh, Blood Ravens. I used to watch a lot of them. Like, a lot of the old YouTube guys that, uh, that have a bunch of subscribers now. I used to just sit there and, like, watch painting videos as I painted. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, that's what I used to do when I was uh, painting a tyranny, just listen to you, you know, I would have your video going, and, and how do, how do you, uh, you know, play a, you know, Gene Stealer and whatnot, and um, yeah. that's what I would do, just listen to you, just go, yeah, you want to do this, and you want to have this many, nope, you don't want to have yeah, this many. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I used to have a playlist of, I think it was like, if you, if you told me it was something stupid, like, uh, like two hours and 40 minutes for all of the videos, and it was like, you know, oops, oops. It was, uh, it, was, it was quite a bit of stuff. Um, the, the funny thing is, most of my, like, Tyranid Tactic videos or whatever, 
Uh, most of that was actually from just, I got most of my information from just browsing the tier at high form and whatnot, and I took that information, and I, like, when I'm playing tournament, I took my own experiences and pretty much combined it with popular view. So, most of what I was saying was pretty much correct, I don't know, I wasn't that opinionated, it was more just the general consensus of, like, what Tiered should do in 4th edition in the old codex. Now, let's go with the Tiered because, uh, of course, a lot of your subscribers, I would say 90% of them are, are for uh, Tiered. Tiered, yeah. yeah um, as you, you mentioned a cookie cutter kind of a setup and that kind of that actually downed me and I know it downed a lot of people because it was like we do have troubles we do have a lot of troubles with shooty armies um, how do, do you still stick with that uh, is there a, a possible list that we can maybe hang in there and, the and play is, a tournament you the know thing is with it's now uh, I pretty much went on like it's like just a back-to-back -back weekly tournaments like this past summer uh trying to get one of the vegas tickets before i even knew what like the throne of schools event was i was just like yeah i really want to go to vegas this year and like party it up and go to a gt in vegas so i went to i think like two or three gts and like but anything that was like biggest qualifying like i'd drive a state or two and like go to that and i was just going to back-to-back -to -back tournaments like road shaders for practice whatever else I ended up getting to take it, but the thing is, I was playing character to the list, like, I wasn't enjoying my army. Like, in 4th edition, yeah, Nidzilla was brutal, I would win, a, like, absurd amount of games, and, like, it, it, that actually, I kind of enjoyed that, or, like, playing Steeler Shock, or whatnot. These lists I was playing, the lists I was playing were, like, vanilla, just very boring, just three of this, three of this, two of this, and it was, uh... Yeah, I kind of had to run that, and still I would struggle against, like, oh, uh, John over here with his basic uh, Salamander army that was, like, balanced. I'd still struggle against it, even though with, like, I'm running, like, the triple Trigon, whatever else, like, nine hive guard, uh, extreme nasty tiered lists. The, the new codex, I don't really like the new codex. That I don't feel comfortable playing with it. Like, I'll play balanced or, like, random lists. I've been playing a lot of pod lists lately. I lose a lot in my local area, but... It's, I don't enjoy playing the competitive side of this tier and codex, like, whatsoever. Like, I don't know. It leaves, like, a bad taste in my mouth to run, like, Turbagon spam. It's hard to explain. Well, uh, it, well what do you It's think? like I'm forced to running those things. Like, when I go to a tournament, it's like, I better have six or more Hive Guard, or else, like, I'm gonna have some terrible games. Like... Well, what do you feel about putting everything in reserve? Uh, putting everything in my aesthetic sport or my my spec uh, sport, yeah. did, and then you know, and then drop them down because if you have a hive tyrant, if you have you know uh, what do you call it, swarm lord, and you have everything else in reserve, it doesn't give anybody a shot. It spreads out their forces, and you have a turbic, you have two turbigants that are in my my aesthetic spores or whatever you know, and then drop them. And then pop them out from behind, and then start just pumping out. Yeah, you know, because they, they they're no longer uh, uh, what do you call it uh, monstrous creatures. Now they're troop choices. And you have up to three. There's no idea how many things are just wrong with what you just said. Turbigons are still monstrous creatures. They do get slotted in as troops. They can't get put in pods. Uh, hive tyrants and swarm lords. Hive tyrant like pod list, but swarm lords like running a Death Star like. Swarm Lord, Tyrant Guard Retinue, maybe a Warrior Prime or whatever. Talking 500 points out of like 1500, 1850, you don't even have points. You have 1200 points. Oh, you want to have six, seven pods? Now you're talking 800 points. You need to cover anti tank. You're talking zone throps or, yeah, yeah. like four, six exactly. zone throps. You're, yeah, you're talking. Right. You're right. So, so what little bugs are you dropping down? 400 points of uh, gene stealers? No. Yeah, they're not gonna. Yeah, they're not gonna do anything at all. I won <laughs> one pod list at a tournament, and that was before the FAQ when I could run like uh, the tier to primes and the pods, and when I could run like and when Doom uh, in the tournament let me hit things in vehicles. Like it was, it was. I was only because it was that cheesy, and we had victory, <laughs> we had victory point missions instead of kill points, and that was before uh, they ruled that. Like, the Mycetic Spores can get run over by vehicles and, like, auto kills. Yeah! I, I, <laughs> what's up with that one? <laughs> I don't know, but it's lost me a lot of my, uh, yeah, in, my, uh, in my local area. 
My, uh, the, the GW I live near is pretty much casual play, so I can enjoy casual games unless I want like to practice against a few of the tournament players. Most of what I'm playing is just fun games. So, yeah, I'll run like Spores, but I, I've had a few players that are just like, oh, Steve, look, he wrote kill points with Spores. And uh, you'll just see me play against some guy at home, one lander or one over seven or eight of them. Oh, my be like, God. Oh, hey. Well, see, that's the thing that's bothering me. Then they can't even, uh, what do you call it, attack. You know, once, once well, the... Like uh, a glory thing, that strength five, two e six, but for the most part, that one dice isn't going to do much. No, it's uh, not going to do much. Not at all. You know, and not only that, when the pod drops, it can't even, you know, lash its whips. You know, it, it's considered a moving vehicle, like, apparently. I don't know. Yeah, um, no, actually, when you, uh, when you deep strike, I thought you could, you could shoot, like, weird for tentacles or whatever weapons you have, because you are a monstrous creature, you can always move and shoot, so I'm pretty sure when you can drop, you can shoot two guns, like, uh, it's popular to put, like, a barbed shank, like, ripper tentacles, so you can drop, yeah. and, like, nuke something right next to you. Yeah, it all it's, 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 it's always it's mixed. Like of course, of course, I'm playing with friends, so they're yeah. telling me, "Yeah, you can't, you can't move that." And I go, "No, it's a monstrous creature. No, you cannot. You cannot." Do well, that. no, you can't move the pod. Yeah, that thing. It, it, it my pods look like giant pieces of gore, but that's because they slam to the ground and uh, they explode. They kind of throw tentacles at people. I don't know. Pods <laughs> are everyone like the tyrannids in general. Each like high fleet, in my opinion, is kind of different of how it works. Like. For like the higher fleet of Ryan, like my tier, it's, uh, I, yeah, my server guns look, they don't look like pregnant carnifexes. For two reasons. <laughs> I don't like pregnant carnifexes, and I kind of didn't want to rip mine up. <laughs> yeah. But like, I don't know, I kind of view every high fleet as, uh, like having different kind of like, oh, my, uh, my high fleet, like, morphed this way, or they, like, uh, Kind of like we're genetically uh, evolution. Yeah, they, there you go. Like each one has to be different. It's not like they look like this. Or trigons always look like that. Like my trigons don't have the side mandibles or the things on their side of their mouth. Exactly. They don't have those because I think they look stupid. So like my trigons don't have them, and it just depends. Nice, nice phone call. <laughs> yeah, I got it.